The most wonderful and terrible thing about theater is that it's a memory. No matter how many times you've played a scene or performed a song, each moment lives just once. A dear friend and I both won our first Tonys for a musical that we did a few years ago. And when I heard that she was going to be on this show, I phoned her and quite greedily asked for a chance to relive one of those memories just once more. Friends, sisters, and pals, we'll always be bosom buddies. If life should reject you, there's me to protect you. If I say that your tongue is vicious, if I call you uncouth, it's simply that who else but a bosom buddy will sit down and tell you the truth. Though now and again I'm aware that my candid opinion may sting. Though often my frank observation might scold. I've been meaning to tell you for years you should keep your hair natural like mine. If I kept my hair natural like yours, I'd be bald. <laughs> but, sweetie, we'll always be dear companions. My crony! My mate! We'll always be harmonizing Or Fanny and Sandy Like Amos and Andy If I say that your sense of style's As far off as your youth It's simply that Who else but a bosom buddy Will tell you the whole stinking truth I feel it's my duty to tell you it's time to adjust to your age. You try to be pegging my heart when you're Lady Macbeth. Exactly. How old are you, Vera? The truth. How old do you think? Oh, I'd say somewhere between 40 and death. <laughs> but but sweetie, I'll always be Alice Douglas if you be Gertrude Stein And though I'll admit I dished you I've gossiped and bloated But I'm so devoted And if I say that sex and guts Made you into a star Remember that Who else but a bosom body Will tell you 